So what what do you want to chime? We, you want to chime in on the on the topic at hand. So do do women have it hard in trucking? I can't speak for all women. I can speak for my experience. Mm -hmm. Um, I've had a I've had a couple issues with other truck drivers, um, male truck drivers, Caucasian male truck drivers, older Caucasian male truck drivers. I don't know what it is, but the way that they approach me, the way they disrespect me, I know that they wouldn't approach me like that if I was a man, especially if I was a black man. Okay. So I know in regards to me being a woman, yeah, and a minority, for sure, um, I'm looked at and looked down upon or, you know, talked to disrespectfully whenever they feel like they can because they don't see a male around me. So in that aspect, yeah. Also, um, maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know if I would say below. I wouldn't say, I, I can't speak on that. With but, automatic trucks, you think they're gearing it towards, or you think they're making it easier for women to come into the industry to, 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 you know, interfere with the male dominated side of things? Um, I think they're making it easier for anyone to come in, not just women, because you've got some older women out here that can drive some of these trucks that some of the, some of your old heads can't drive. They've been driving since the 60s, 70s, you know, old transmission. So, uh, so I don't think it makes any difference if it's something that you want you're going to run out there and get it, whether it's, you know, shifting them gears or driving an automatic. Well, I sold cars and I worked in a warehouse. Um, I used to load trucks, hand load trucks. And I had to work twice as hard compared to any guy to get paid. You know what I mean? Like they just didn't appreciate or, um, they would talk crap about the girls, you know, they're like, oh, this girl's going to come down and she's going to use us to do their job and try to be all cute. And I'm not that girl. So I always just, you know, busted my ass 10 times harder. And I set an example. Um, so when the newbies came in and they complained about, you know, because I also picked orders when they complained about a box that I filled up. Oh, it's too heavy. I can't throw this up there. They call me down and tell them if she can do it, you're going to get a write up. So I definitely set an example, but it, it, it seems like women have to prove themselves so much more. I will say and one time I did get pulled over in Colorado. Once I got, um, I was stuck on top of the mountain in the snow and in, in the blizzard in Colorado. And I can, a police officer was very like, rude um to me and mm -hmm. to my co-driver which was a male he he didn't he didn't act like that towards him i mean but other than that i didn't have any instances where um i felt like it was harder for me and i i honestly feel like uh a lot of people are willing to help if i did have any issues they're more willing to help um, because they feel like, okay, well, at least it's a woman doing it. It's already a man's job. They feel like so. It's like, okay, it's a woman doing it. Let me, let me help her. Um, yeah. So. All right. Yeah. So Kelly. Um, yeah. The topic of today is: Do females or wait, wait? Yeah, I gotta keep it up. Do women have it hard in trucking? What, what, what do you want to chime in on this on this topic? <laughs> Oh, God. Like the person said before me, it does depend because everyone's situation is different. So far, it's been it's been all right for me. But I have noticed some things, what the previous caller has said um, about some males. I think that they might just look down upon women, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in, in a big truck. I remember one time my, my teammate was fueling and this guy... He was black, but he, he was just standing and staring down my teammate with his hands, like, 
like kind of uh, crossed between, like on his crotch, or mm-hmm. not to be sexual, but I think he was just trying to make a point that she needs to hurry up. Mind you, um, you know, we just got there, <laughs> and that the guy who he was waiting for was inside, probably getting a sandwich. So it was, it was ridiculous. And so I'm, I'm looking at um, Christine, and I'm like, "Who is this guy?" And she's like, "I don't know." But he was just staring, you know, waiting as if she needed to hurry up. And you know, because I know that there are some truckers that have no patience. Well, there are a lot of them, yeah. but, um, <laughs> and their driving shows it. Well, exactly. you know, I know. <laughs> and um, it's just, um, yeah, it's but uh, harder. Um, it might be different. I'm trying to see if I went through um, anything. The only thing, I mean, nothing hard. I'll be like, I'll drive to probably like eight, nine o'clock at night, and then I'll stop and I'll pick it back up early in the morning, and they would be like, okay, I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? But that usually does not work as well with like female FM as it would a male fleet manager. So, you know, women tend to get a lot more out of men than they can get out of women. Because women are very emotional and they deal with things off emotions where the man, you know what I'm saying, I think he kind of like has a different approach on certain things. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Any situation oh. with you as of late of uh, of being uh, you know, being a, you know, being in a being in a, in a situation that that you feel that a man would have probably would have been better, would have would have been treated better recently. Um, recently I was down in Laredo, and I sat in the shop. They put me in the shop at about three four hours, and I'm still sitting there. I'm still seeing other Hispanic and black, all male drivers, no females, getting put into the bay before me. And I go inside, and they said, well, yeah, we're, we're going to be with you. Better look in my face. And I said, well, my truck is such and such and such. Don't even pull it up in the computer. We're going to be with you. We're going to be with you. It's, it's that kind of stuff, like, um, that, I, that, I, that I know that I experience on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? We get kind of, we get kind of ran over out here. We're not. We're not ladies. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? We, okay. the, 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 the topic is, do women have it hard in trucking or any <laughs> other job? What what do you want to what what do you want to weigh in on this uh on this topic? It's been going on for years, so there's no topic about it. But anyways, it is what it is. <laughs> women get the short end of the stick. So, so you think so in a male? Do you think that's always in a male-dominated field that the females get the short end of the stick? Even uh, if, yeah, even even if they even if they got the skill set and the and yeah. and, and oh, yeah. so go ahead and elaborate on that a little bit. Well, uh, let's go for instance, pay the man get more than the woman, and it shows on their check. Cause baby, once I'm gone, I ain't coming back nah, nah. You gon' have to settle with another man yeah, yeah. when you realize, don't be running back oh, Ain't no sunshine when I'm gone